What is going on guys, Fox Sports Talk, back at it with another video talking some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you are a Bears fan, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I'm bringing the latest, greatest, and best Bears content on YouTube and around. So with that being said, we are starting a new series today, which I'm very excited about. It is the Player Outlook Series. So essentially, I'm going to be going through all of the main Bears players for the upcoming 2020 NFL season and giving you guys an outlook on each player individually. You know, I talk about the Bears team obviously as a whole a lot and I, you know, talk about individual players, but I have not had an opportunity to deep dive into each individual player. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going through the projections for 2020 for the player, talk about the importance, the potential, all of that. Okay, so we're going to go through all of it. And obviously, as you see in the title today, we're doing David Montgomery, the running back for the Chicago Bears. He is going to be the first player that we've got on the Player Outlook series. Again, if you guys end up liking the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. Links are always in the description below. And make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. So let's get started. So as mentioned, the very first player that we've got in the Player Outlook series for the Chicago Bears is running back David Montgomery. So how this is going to work is the following, okay? I'm going to have the 2019 stats for all the players in the Player Outlook series, just like I've got for David Montgomery here. I'm going to go through them, and then we've got the 2020 projected stats that I'm going to be going through and giving you guys give you guys a projection of how their numbers could look like this season. And then basically I've got three factors here at play that I'm going to be judging and grading the said player on. First is impact slash importance, which is essentially how impactful are you? How important are you to the Bears team? Number two, replaceability slash depth. How replaceable are you, obviously? And then what is the depth looking like at the position that you are at, okay? And then finally, potential for 2020. How do I see your potential in 2020 if you performed at your absolute peak at your absolute best okay so i'm going to be grading every player on these three factors and then finally we'll get a, a, a grade here if you will for every single player in the player outlook series so with that being said let's start by taking a look at david montgomery's numbers from last year and last year he played all 16 games but he only started eight okay and a lot of people don't know that because obviously David Montgomery was a rookie last year and rookies obviously have a hard time getting on the field. Um, again, um, some rookies I feel like should, you know, be able to start. But David Montgomery did not start all 16 games. He only started eight of them, okay? But even in those 16 games with only eight starts, did all have 242 rushing attempts for 889 yards, six rushing touchdowns, and I know it's hard to see here, but this is 3.7 yards per carry, okay? 3.7 yards per carry is not good, okay? And it's crazy that David Montgomery was still able to get almost 1,000 yards, or close to, I should say, 900, uh, on such a paltry yards per carry average, okay? Uh, but he did, okay? And uh, on the receiving side, 35 catches for 185 yards, one receiving touchdown, and 7.4 yards per reception. Now, we know David Montgomery is not the Bears' pass catching back. That is Tariq Cohen. But that does not mean David Montgomery can't catch the football. No, he actually can catch it pretty well and certainly much better than the guy we had in here before David Montgomery, who was Jordan Howard, who couldn't catch to save his life, okay? So you liked that. Now, let's take a look at how I project his numbers in 2020 to be. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. David Montgomery next to Matt Nagy, is the key for the Chicago Bears' success in 2020. Matt Nagy, I should say, is the main key because, again, he's going to be the one that is going to be running the show. But from a player perspective, David Montgomery has the opportunity to change up everything for the Bears because if Matt Nagy commits to him and really kind of turns Bears into a running team um, and takes the pressure off whatever or whoever the quarterback is going to be it is going to set the Bears up for success because I'm telling you right now in 2018 when the Bears uh, went 12-4 and won the division, we had the 11th best rushing attack. It wasn't the air attack. It wasn't the passing game that did it for us. It was the rushing game. So David Montgomery needs more carries, okay? Feed the beast. Feed the man, okay? Because David Montgomery last year behind a paltry and pathetic 
run blocking offensive line was still able to almost get a thousand yards as you can see here but of course the yards per carry were not very good so let's just do the simple math here okay um, again obviously projecting out 16 games and i certainly believe he will start all 16 and i'm going to put that there but uh let's up the attempts all right 242 last year let's be even conservative if you will you know we can go to 260 to maybe 270 okay because i know matt Nagy. Again, he's still not going to be a smash mouth coach where he's just going to run the ball all the damn time. He still likes to pass, you know. So 260 to 70 attempts. And then if I just take the yards per carry from 3.7 and go to something like 4.2, which isn't even like that great, right? 4.2, 4.3. David Montgomery's average that in college. So let's say I go to that um, 4.2 yards per carry. That will easily put David Montgomery not just past a thousand yards, but close to eleven hundred yards uh, potential for twelve hundred again if you up the yards per carry. And then I see him, you know, kind of maintaining the touchdown total, maybe increase it by one to seven touchdowns. So to me, absolutely, I see the attempts going up. Okay, I see the yards going up. Touchdowns going up and yards per carry. Basically, everything's going up in terms of the receiving side. Again, he is not our receiving back, but I do think the numbers uh, pretty much stay the same. But just because he's going to be on the field more, we're, we're going to give him 40 catches for about 200 yards. And I'll still give him, you know, maybe another touchdown there. So, like I said, with David Montgomery, I easily see him crossing over a 1,000 yards easily. I would be disappointed if he didn't, by the way, okay? Um, and this depends on two folds. Obviously, Matt Nagy uh, committing to running the football and, of course, the offensive line improving and being able to run block better because they were horrid last year. They were absolutely awful. So, But I do see him easily getting, um, you know, over a 1,000 yards, 1,100 really, um, and then yards per carry to go up. So, Everything's going to go up for David Montgomery for me in 2020. Um, again, pending that, obviously, he stays healthy and, and everything's good. But let's take a look at the three factors that I have here. We'll start with impact importance, okay? Again, impact and importance is key here because David Montgomery, if he does what I expect him to do, will have a major impact, a monumental impact. And he has the he's one of the few players on the Bears this season that has the ability to just change uh, the entire uh, game for the Bears, the entire season. Um, so I'm actually going to give him a very fairly high grade, in 9 out of 10, because the importance of running the football starts with David Montgomery because of the fact that, again, he is our workhorse running back. Okay? We didn't really sign anybody. And speaking of that, replaceability and depth, David Montgomery goes down. You really don't have anyone, and I'm tempted to obviously make the replaceability very high, but I will give the replaceability 8 out of 10. If I can make that 8 right. And the reason I'm going to say 8 out of 10 is uh, we still do obviously have um, Tariq Cohen behind him, but uh, the running back position is still, again, a very replaceable pr position traditionally in, in that sense. Um, and the fact that, you know, the Bears could potentially sign somebody to, uh, in free agency or, and whatnot, it's not like, you know, your, your starting quarterback goes down or your starting, you know, the receiver or something like that, but mainly quarterback, right? But again, I, I would have gone higher. It's just a, uh, a fact of the fact that he plays the running back position. Uh, but again, his replaceability is still very high, uh, low because you can't replace um david montgomery that easily okay he goes down you're, you're down to Tariq cohen and what i mean so again eight eight nine that's probably what i would put it at and then his potential for 2020 um i think david montgomery uh, can become one of the best running backs in the nfl i'm not going to put him at 10 out of 10 um or 9 out of 10 because again to me that is like the saquon cmc caliber but again i don't see david montgomery in that range but i absolutely do see him as a top 10, certainly top 15 running back in the NFL if he performs this season. So to me, again, you add all that up, you know, that's 16, uh, 25 out of 30 is the grade for David Montgomery. And again, 
I could have potentially moved the replaceability up by a point, so you can maybe go to 26 out of 30, but still a very, very solid grade for David Montgomery based off of what we need from him this year, and he is very, very important to what the Bears are going to be doing this year. We need David Montgomery to take a huge, huge leap this season.